does something I have never seen a website do that uses the fourth dimension. Difficult. All of us as creators can benefit in a major way from it. People are afraid. Hi there, Phil here. God knows where. Not always, all there. We've looked at some crazy 3GS personal portfolios before, but this time I really spent time and dug up the three 3GS portfolios that doing something none of those other ones are doing. And all of us as creators can take that something and benefit in a major way from it, improving our projects significantly. So let's go. Number three, a site that features an unspecified animal, probably a cat, that repeatedly jumps over another unspecified animal, probably a cat. And here is the first thing about it. This is not 3GS. You might think if you're severely drunk or was just blinded by a giant moth that stuck to your eye. And this should remind you that 3GS does not necessarily mean shiny, realistic 3D graphics. 3GS is a powerful library that allows you to achieve whatever look you want. It just gives you an option to do that in three dimensions. And you also don't have to, by the way. Look, this site. It was also built in 3GS. When I was 5 years old, I imagined I was Captain Jean-Luc Picard, and firmly believing I was about to initiate the start engine sequence of the USS Enterprise spaceship, firmly inserted two metallic rods in a regular household power outlet. I've looked at a lot of portfolio sites for these videos, and what I've noticed, a lot of them come in the form of a personal space, a developer's own world, a desk, a workspace, a room, a room, a room, an operating system, an operating system, an, an operating system, Arnold Schwarzenegger's welcoming smile, <coughs> and it makes sense to theme your portfolio based on those things. But I think there is so much more you could be doing with this. And this portfolio almost does it. Almost. But not completely. So make a note, there is an opportunity there potentially. When I was six years old, I was impersonating a regular log and fell into a fast river. What this portfolio almost does is it uses the fourth dimension. I'm not completely insane, it's time. It, it's time. The fourth dimension is time. Instead of a personal space, this portfolio offers a personal story. I traveled in Japan and reeled up the culture and the country, so I decided to make this portfolio and to go to live in Japan. But why is the personal story better than the personal space? Five years ago, I inadvertently and completely destroyed a police car on a main square of a small Eastern European city. First of all, a personal story is more user-friendly. It makes a visitor feel as if they personally met you, as opposed to uh, stalked you, broke into your home, or hacked into your computer. And a much, much, much more important thing that can potentially give you groundbreaking portfolio ideas. Your personal space is always your personal space. It's always the same. And also it's not remarkably different from other creators' personal spaces. But stories that happen to you on the other hand. A bizarre personal story can be so much more inspiring to you as a creator and as a result can lead to unique and extraordinary portfolio website idea, as opposed to making yet another website that looks like an operating system, a desk or a room. And last week ago I managed to become an illegal immigrant in Bosnia, uh, without physically being in the country. <clears throat> and these are all true stories, I swear to you. This site could be doing so much more with this, in my opinion. Website number two. GodHatesShrimp.com. Ah, damn it. Pierce Brosnan asks you to subscribe to this channel, he's no longer James Bond and it's important to him. Maybe also say hi to Pierce in the comments. Website number two, personal portfolio website that does something I've never seen a website do. But first, what this site does impressively great, and I have seen other websites do that. It's just very rare and impressively great. This site is a kulibyaka, kulibyaka, kulibyaka. A multi-layered medieval uh, Russian pie, filled with fish, meat, rice, mushrooms, onions, cabbage, buckwheat, dill, hard-boiled eggs of varied unspecified animals, trotters, dust, teeth, thumbs, eyebrows, a turnip, and whatever else a typical Russian medieval housewife would find on her kitchen counter. Typography, videography, sound, conventional CSS, 3GS graphics, computer vision. Great, by the way, we should all use it more often. It's always been difficult to understand how your knowledge of me increases the way I become invisible. All these ingredients come together in a great and exquisite dish. Unlike the kulibaka. Kulibaka is... Oh. 
it's much easier to make something out of a single ingredient like 3GS, but it's much much harder to make something great and whole out of otherwise unrelated multitude of different ingredients. This site does it amazingly well and I'm in a great admiration of this. However, all of this is great, but this is not what left me completely um, mind fucked about this website. The thing that this site does, that I've never seen other sites do before, is it turns UX and UI, and especially UX, in digital art. What is all this? What is the purpose of all this? Why do you do this recapture? Why here? Why every time? What exactly am I doing here? This portfolio is a portfolio of a digital artist, and its purpose is to be an art piece itself, rather than serving a purpose of displaying various art projects. What I have never seen is UX turned into art. Let me know in the comments if you have. And finally, the site number one. A personal portfolio where you hit you with a truck. People are afraid. One woman was so afraid of a tambourine, she had to convince her father to become a tambourine, so that she can face her fears. Which it didn't work, and the father had to live out the rest of his life as a tambourine. <coughs> People, especially clients, are afraid of radical, unconventional ideas, and are inclined to dumb them down. Would this have been a project built for one of those scared clients? and built by a developer much less established than Bruna Sign. I can vividly picture it having a header, a menu bar, a footer with a shitload of text in it, a sidebar with a shitload of text in it, another sidebar maybe with another menu, no actually let's have a shitload of text in it too, and uh, let's keep the menu. A logo, it, it needs to be big, bigger, here, I made the logo myself, use this one, some landing sections with other logos in it, more, more, and images of awkward people. More people, we have a big team. And l let's remove th this car, we're not quite feeling it. Here is the thing, for your personal portfolio website, you are the client. So be your dream client, be brave. And being brave does not mean that you have to go crazy with shapes and colors, although that sometimes too. This site has very subtle pastel colors and typography but it's brave about its main idea, to turn the whole thing into a game, and also to delegate the entire navigation functionality to the pickup truck. Be brave about your ideas, and don't be afraid to fuck things up, because if you are afraid to fuck things up, you're definitely going to. And above all, this site does some great 3GS optimization, because if you don't do that, 3GS websites have a capacity of leaving burns in shapes of Apple devices on various body parts. Here is a good example of such a burning website in my other video. Thank you all very much for watching, like it if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, it helps supporting all those people who accidentally hit the bell in real life. Stay creative, don't forget to look up and see you soon. Thank you.